compelling innovation. Um, the best I've seen, which hasn't been developed here yet, but is, is uh, internships and, and co-op opportunities for Aboriginal students. I, I've worked in other places where, where they had this as part of uh, programs, and uh, it's, it's really, I've seen it have tremendous success. So that's what we're actually bringing to SFU in the year ahead is, uh, is, the op is someone's going to be hired to take the lead at uh, creating co-op opportunities for our Aboriginal students here at the university. And there's lots of great reasons why, why, why it is uh, such an innovative program to do that, and it, because it allows the people who are either First Nations students or people in First Nations programs to get exposure to companies, to potential jobs, uh, things like that. So, so uh, you know, I've seen it work well in other places, and that's what we're going to be bringing to SFU here in the next little while. Well, again, I'm speaking f uh, from my own background and my perspective as an Aboriginal person working at the university with regards to uh, best innovations that could be implemented. And uh, I, I think just an overall commitment to, to minorities, including Aboriginal peoples. I think that's, I think that's the, the main thing overall that, that really needs to get done. Uh, I see it happening more and more, uh, particularly here but, and other places, but it could be developed more across the country. So I'm talking about commitment to uh, uh, programs, for, to, to services, uh, to service people, to faculty. Uh, that are specifically designated towards minorities uh, and, and in, in the case of the work that I do, Aboriginal peoples. Um, I think uh, dedicating uh, resources to these kinds of initiatives are tremendously important as well. So there has to be a commitment on the part of the university to create uh, the funding to support these kinds of things. Otherwise, um, you know, they, they'll be slow in coming or will actually uh, never get done. And uh, <clears throat> why I think uh, that these things are so important uh, is because you know we're creating the leaders of tomorrow. Uh, we're creating uh, role models in minority communities, and again, in my case, Aboriginal communities. So um, I'm really seeing, you know, universities if they do this, you know, are, are going to be creating so many opportunities for the first peoples and other uh, peoples of minority uh, in this country and elsewhere. So uh, yeah, so so that's what I uh, that, that's sort of what I envision happening more across this country, uh, but it hasn't done too bad up to now.